You won't meet anyone quite like John Alexander. You're a rare guy. I guess. <laughs> He never shies away from a challenge. Are your legs on fire? No. Cool. That's why I don't do this with him anymore. <laughs> I, can I can tell your legs are... I can tell no. since you asked that, your legs are probably like... <laughs> yeah, they are. That's exactly what they're doing. He is quite possibly the world's most interesting young man. I don't like country music. No? What do you like? When I'm older, I'm going to like country music. <laughs> <laughs> is that what old people listen to? people that aren't kids. <laughs> He's funny. So what and more importantly, this kid has heart. This whole place is just amazing. At just eight years old, John has been through a lot. The Permian Basin Rehab Center has been there every step of the way. After John was born and we found out he had a cleft palate, we, started, we first started coming here for feeding therapy since there was nothing between his nose and his mouth. Then he returned for speech therapy a few years later. Today, he's back at the rehab center for physical therapy. He's getting treatment for something his family initially thought was growing pains. He started complaining about leg pain, his left leg. He was having a lot of pain in his left leg. A few trips to the doctor proved it wasn't growing pains. John has a disease called leg calf perfis disease, which is a fancy way of saying the, the head of his femur, the ball of his femur, lost blood flow, so it started to break down inside his hip joint. The rare disease forced him into a wheelchair and an eventual surgery to repair his hip. This rod went into the side of his femur, and this piece went down the side of his femur, and it was screwed in that way and he had this hardware in his leg from January to July while his femur helped grow grew back together. The condition brought John right back to the rehab center with the goal of getting him back on his feet. So we're really strengthening the left side and stretching the right side because the right side is the side that he's put weight on this whole time and those muscles are used to working within just a unilateral or one side of his body. That's what's overtaken everything. With every stretch and exercise, John not only performs, he also understands. He um, likes to know why we're doing everything. He likes to be in the know of what muscles we're working, why we're doing it, what it's going to build up to be later. While regaining his balance and strength, one thought kept coming to the front of his mom's mind. There's got to be something that is a reason that all this stuff is happening with him. Turns out, mom was right. It's a gene mutation. It's called Stickler syndrome. It is very rare and even harder to diagnose. The Stickler syndrome caused him to have the cleft palate. It caused him, he's, he's really nearsighted, so it caused him to have the extreme nearsightedness. We act, it, caused the, it caused the leg calf perthes disease. They were able to get confirmation through a genetic test last summer. It was like a weight lifted because it was finally an answer. The ultimate understanding. I've just been wondering all my life, why is this happening to me? Now that he knows, all of John's attention can focus on getting better. He's always willing to go the extra mile. If I say we're gonna do 10 to 15, he was like, which one? Do you want 10 or do you want 15? I'll do 20 instead. No more walker, no more wheelchair. He still can't run and jump, but he's finally free of everything that he needed to get around before. A young man determined to reach every goal set before him. He is proof that no matter what life throws at you, the question is never, why me? But rather, what's next? He'll tell you all of the things that he's overcome so far, and he's like, okay, what's next? What are you going to throw at me this time? It's pretty simple and funny to learn that from an eight-year-old. But that's just John, the world's most interesting young man. <laughs>